Ladies and gentlemen, okay, so we got a special little video today, okay? Like most of you, all right, you guys know what fucking TikTok is at this point. You already know what the hell it is, you know what encompasses it, you know what goes on in that app. Now, if you don't know what TikTok is, you're either living under a rock <clears throat> or you're <coughs> or you're fucking dead. Either way, I compiled up some videos today and we're going to steam them up. Now, we're not going to roast them. Maybe we'll roast them. Maybe we'll f you know, who knows? Maybe I'll just rip their I'll rip a new asshole in these TikToks. But the thing is, I really really love genuine TikToks, okay? There's some that don't go viral, but I'll see them. Not as much as anymore, right? Because now everything, they, they cloud you with shitty videos. They cloud you with these videos that, I don't know, I, I feel like teen girls just like wank off to, but I'm gonna fucking take those TikToks that are just absolutely cringe, if they're just unique to me, if they just if they're just weird as fuck and then we're going to steam them up. Okay? I compiled up I don't know how many fucking videos. I did it last night. So, it's going to be a surprise to me as well what videos cuz I fucking forget which ones I even like chose to show. It's just the ones I bookmark, you know, that I thought were fucking hilarious. So, I say we just already get into it. All right, let's steam up these motherfucking TikToks. Okay, and for the first one here, we got... Okay, this is every white girl that studies abroad, all right? They all wear... They all wear that same fucking hat. They all go to fucking Paris. They all buy an, ex an immense amount of food that they're not even going to finish. Look at all that food. Look at it. Look at all that goddamn food. Who, who has time to even finish that? But... All right, I, I chose this video because this is so goddamn retarded. Like, okay, so you got this white girl, doesn't want to show her face. I get it, you know, I, I totally understand. I really get it because you don't want to be embarrassed, all right? And this bitch is just stirring up a fucking cup of coffee. You know what? It's not a special thing to look out your balcony, and then just fucking see, oh, the Eiffel Tower. There's people down in the French streets taking shit on the streets because they're homeless, and you're here spending hundred dollars a night at this fucking hotel. Okay, let's let's not let's not get this twisted. Let's not get this twisted at all. Okay, you're only here for one thing, to get fucked by French dudes. And if you're here in France to look at shit and stir your coffee get the fuck out I mean, what are you who are you who are you trying to fucking impress huh how many people do you think are looking out of the window drinking coffee listen i know she's a very innocent gal she probably loves france but i'm telling you right now only white people are doing this from america you don't ever see french people just sitting outside their window doing this you know why because they're French, and they they see the Eiffel Tower, they're like, yeah, the fuck, what, what does that even mean to me? Anyways, poor gal, poor gal. But listen, I I know people that have studied abroad and went to France, okay, and they're exactly like this girl, okay. They all dress up in the French clothes, right? They go out, they look at shit. And the French people are like, what are you here for? Uh, we came here, um, we saw an opportunity, and we really thought it was a great idea to come here and literally see the Eiffel Tower, and literally, I feel like I'm literally on my fucking toes right now, I'm literally excited. And the French guy's like, get the fuck out of my face, you know, and then, the, and then, yeah. So, next video, all right? We've talked about e-boys before. If you know me, I'm not a big e-boy fan. Really, I'm not a big e-boy fan. Um, you can say I'm an e-boy, maybe. All right, I can maybe qualify for it because I'm cute and I got big biceps. Uh, my thighs are just absolutely phenomenal. They're tremendous. And my swag is impeccable. But 
Nothing beats these kids swag. I mean the thing is With these kids. I really don't understand. They're both both of them. I mean they must kiss and shit on the side cuz I I don't know if you're hanging out like this being super serious wearing rings and earrings you gotta be gay. I, I There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you and your homeboy think this is fresh, there's something wrong with you. I To be honest with you, the video is supposed to be very scary. In other words, you know, it, it's supposed to be very grim and grime. You know, just ram. Uh, this is supposed to be very, you know, just, uh, what's the word? grunge that's what i'm trying to think not even grunge just it's not even you can't compare it to grunge because grunge was more of like a nirvana thing right this is just stupid as fuck it's just kids getting earrings and 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 what's it called i don't know what else fucking rings and necklaces from amazon for like five dollars and they all wear black they get like a led zeppelin shirt or some shit you know i don't know Ah, oh, God, Jesus Christ. I, I mean, the thing is, oh, it cringes. It, it hurts. It hurts to watch. And then I feel bad for these kids. Because, I mean, look at all these earrings this guy's got. What's the point? Like, I feel like the more earrings you got, the fucking more e-boy you are, I think. You know, because usually I'll see e-boys, they'll have two earrings. I, you know, I can't really classify them as e-boys. You know, they're just dudes... You know, that don't have enough money to buy shit on Amazon. So they get like one thing a month. They're like, oh my god, I literally just spent 80% of my fucking income on necklaces and fucking random rings so I can look fresh. And whatever fresh entails, you think that's what the internet, like, you know, whatever your kids see on the internet, they're like, I need that. I need that. Um, I don't get it. I don't, I just don't get it. These kids are fucking weird to me. Uh, okay. Next video. All right, we're going through these like bing, 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 bing. Okay, next video. Okay. Don't mind the sluts. All right, it, they're just they're sluts. Okay, they're all there. You know, this is the opportunity to show off my ass. I get it. Okay, perfectly fine. But the thing is, just for now, ignore it. All right, you got to realize there's so much other puss and ass on the internet. None of these girls will ever matter for that, okay? They're just there for that specific reason, just for that little butt tap, okay? Nothing else, okay? Forget about those. Right there. Now, this is the start of it. This is the start of it. This fucking Jerome Bettis looking guy reminds you of Jerome Bettis because he was a very light skinned man, okay? And he was very big, and people used to call him the bus. Now, this guy looks. Like Jerome Bettis, aka the bus. So I have nothing wrong with him. To me, this kid, pretty decent hair. You know, I mean, the hair is just like every fucking kid goes for like you know this kind of hair nowadays. Not even just black people, it's just fucking white kids. They have this kind of hair too somehow. You know, they all want to look like OBJ. If you don't know who OBJ is, it's Odell Beckham Jr. Okay, uh, you know, if now you're less ignorant, you know, look at them. You can see. Now, this is where we get very, well, not me, okay? I, I, I don't, you know, I don't coincide with this white kid, okay? He's just a white guy. But the thing is now, when people look at this, all right, this white kid, this fucking white kid, all right? Look at his face, okay? He's already, he's already into the video. He's good, you know, he's, he's good with his, uh, what's it called? His fucking swag, right? Either way. The white kid. Back to him. Now. I don't know anything about the woe. Okay. I don't know much about it. But what I do know is. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. Whoever that is dude. Just get him out. Okay. Get a fucking vest. With a bunch of pockets. A bunch of zippers. Right. Like Chris D'Elia says, and take the fucking hike. Get out of here. Get out of here. Anyways, yeah, next video. Now this video, I don't know. The thing is, this video really, uh, what's the word? It really irks me, okay? 
the caption was, uh, the thing is, you won't understand until I'll tell you the caption of this video. The caption was on the, uh, on the lines of, oh, well, why do people say guys don't fucking cry? I fucking cry. So, just, but yeah, you know? And then I just this guy's just showing a video of him thing. crying. No one fucking cares! Everyone cries! What is this, 19 fucking 10? When people are just like, you can't cry, boy. What are you, fucking gay? It, like, it's, it's not a thing. You know what I'm saying? Why post a video of yourself crying? Like, the only thing I can think of is, it's almost like when a guy's like, oh, I'm a feminist. I'm a feminist. Like, who the, what the, what pussy says that? Just say, don't say that. You're a feminist. What, feminism nowadays is very, like, vindictive. Girls are like, fuck guys. That's like the complete opposite of feminism. You know, this is the same exact thing. A guy is crying. He's like, I fucking cry. Why do people say I fucking, I don't, I fucking cry. Why can't, why can't I cry? Everyone cries. Okay. Who the fuck are you to say that you cry and just because you're a guy and it makes you special? The thing is, this fucking video had like, I don't know, maybe a hundred thousand or some shit likes. And it's just girls. Like, uh -huh. Oh my god. Like, don't worry. It's like, I just seriously, like it's I'm no fine. fucking problem. Like, oh my god. Like, babe. Listen, okay? You're not special for crying, okay? Nor does anyone fucking care. It doesn't matter that you cry. I fucking cry. You know why I cry? I'm sad sometimes, all right? And you know what I do? I cry for like 30 fucking seconds. And I, bought, I fucking bottle that fucking emotion down like a real man, all right? Jesus Christ. It's taken a minute and I don't think I'm there yet, but I'm... I'm you know, it, actually, the more I think about it, he might be gay. I he, he he might be gay. Just a little bit. He might be gay. So I don't know what the on what the lines are for uh you know, for that being gay and crying all the time. I feel like gay guys have more of an exception. Like, you know, for me at least, if I cry I I keep I keep fucking staring at his face. It's just so fucking cringe. We're all on the next video. So listen. If you guys cry, it's all right, okay? Just don't post it on fucking social media. Oh my fucking God, guys. Even though society tells me I shouldn't cry because I'm a fucking man, I cry. No one says that. No one is out here fucking telling you, don't cry, pussy. What are you, fucking girl? What, what is that? Like, no one fucking says that. Anyways, we're on to the next video, all right? And this is probably one of my favorites, all right? We got this fucking handsome looking Indian, I'm assuming, maybe from Singapore, but I don't know where these men are. What? I literally just don't fucking know. The thing is, these Indian TikToks are so bizarre and so interesting, and I'm, I hope it's opening kids' eyes to like, what is this? These men are, like, first off, the swag this guy has, like, he looks like he's in a dress shirt, he looks like an Indian e-boy. And his fucking hair is just absolute swag. These motherfuckers just know what's going on. And the thing is, kids better understand, this is what happens in third world and second world countries. It's these jobs. Whatever the fuck this is. What even is that? Is that just like super hot metal being fucking thrown into these weird ass mach- I don't know. I don't know what that could even be. I genuinely just have no fucking clue what, the, like, you know, what that is. It boggles my fucking mind when I watch that video. All right, I just want to—I just want to go back and watch it again because this is beautiful. All right, just look at that. All right, these guys pouring fucking water on the, on their goddamn heads because it's so fucking hot there, right? Like now, oh, it, it, people are saying, "Hey, they took our jobs." Like you know, you're—you should be glad that you're not having this this fucking job. Whatever the fuck this job entails. First off, look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this fucking man. How happy. How, how can you be so happy in living in, in, uh, and working in these conditions? This guy is great. All right. I applaud this man. This TikTok, absolute 9 out of 10. I fucking love it. Everything about this video is amazing. Okay. Look at it. 
All right, now we're on to the next video. This is probably... I don't know. I, th I just threw this in there because I thought it was goofy. You know, there's no really... There's not much steaming into it. But let's just, you know... So it's just got this guy just fucking doing his thing, man. <laughs> I mean, this is probably probably the best alarm clock you can ask for right here. I mean, you got to give him up. You got to give it up to him, man. He's fucking pushing it. He's pushing it. That's props, bro. Major, major fucking props for that shit. Okay. But for the guy filming... What are you doing? You're waiting for this guy every morning just so you can film this shit too? I, you know, a little, a little sus to me, you know what I'm saying? Just a little sus, not gonna lie. But uh, God bless him. God bless him in his tenacity, right? God bless him. Now, I know we're steamrolling through these videos, but I don't know how else I should edit these fucking videos. I know H3H3, they fucking edit their videos in somehow. But I gotta do this simultaneously, okay? I don't got much fucking time, all right? I don't got much time. We got class and shit. So we're steamrolling through these things. It's almost like improv steams, okay? Everything, I didn't record, I don't fucking write anything. Right now, I'm just going off the top of my head. Let's fucking talk about these guys. Now, this next video, you can already see from the preview, this man is a typical, he looks like a cartoon character. He looks like what you would see, like, Disney fucking create and it'll be like a farmer it'll be about a farmer who gets who finds love and then fucking defeats like some protein shake uh drinking douchebag or something i don't know okay so let's just watch it well you know let's let's go ahead and jump on in first off love the fucking song okay who doesn't like in a world of pure imagination come with me you know, <laughs> and it's fucking rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken. Now that rotisserie chicken's eleven ninety eight. I don't know. Someone tell me where I can find rotisserie chicken that fucking expensive, because those motherfuckers are like hormone pumped through those goddamn uh, muscles right there. They're probably the size of a goddamn turkey. All right, they're so fucking goddamn uh. big. Look at them. Tell me where I can get a motherfucking rotisserie chicken for eleven ninety eight. Eleven ninety eight. Let me see how much. Eleven ninety eight. It's fucking crazy. Anyways, so hold on. Let me see. Back up a little bit. Count to three. Come with me, and you'll be eleven ninety fucking eight. For some motherfucking rotisserie chicken. Now that rotisserie chicken either better be tasting like fucking expensive duck, or that shit better give me superpowers by the time I got by the time I wake up the next morning. I better be looking through bitches' clothes. All right, I better be seeing some nips, dude. I better be seeing some fucking X-ray vision, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking wild, dude, but, uh, probably one of my favorite TikToks, at least. A very home, uh, oh, what is it, what is it, homey feeling when I watch that, uh, video. I feel very nice and, uh, warm inside, okay? I feel like the next video will be probably, alright, so we're on to the next thing. These are e-boys, alright? These are the ones that you see that, you know, they hold a fucking meeting and they're like, hey guys, it's a meetup, right? Come hang out with your boys, right? Uh, come and fucking hug us, because that's totally fucking fine. You come and pay me, and you get to hug me. These guys are selling off their bodies, right? They're e-boy prostitutes, in other words. It's disgusting. Now, it's very cringy to watch this. I mean, they look... They, see, like, I don't know... Yeah, yeah. Right there. In that moment. I assume they're going to kiss, because they're just fucking... Like, Never do I get close to one of my friends that, like, maybe they're just really good friends. I get it, you know, but the cringe, my guy, I mean, all right? Where the fuck should I really even start? Ugh, just, ah, uh, just, ah, uh, ah. Uh.
Ah. Ah. And the internet makes these guys fucking popular. Look at this fuck on the on the left. He looks like a mannequin. And the guy on the right looks like his name is Ricardo. I <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, man. And you know what? These kids make fucking money just from, like, their looks. And, you know, some people are lucky. I That's fine. Utilize your talents. I don't really think uh, good looks are a talent, though. It, they're, <clears throat> they're more of, like, a fucking... <clears throat> they're more of, like, a blessing, I guess. You know, if you're fucking born with it. Then you, you got lucky. You know, it's more luck, not talent. Let's be fucking honest about that, shall we? Okay? There, there's nothing to it. There's nothing Tell to me, it. Now, life as a again, another, another, you know, another group of boys, right? They're using, they're using TikTok for the clout. This, this video is probably like a little older. I don't know. It's just videos I've bookmarked for a while. It's white suburban kids. Okay. They get together. They're like, hey, boys, let's fucking skateboard on video, and that's it. And this is the thing. I don't care because their kid's having fun, all right? I don't mind at all. But what I do mind is be posers. I don't like posers. I don't... The thing is, look. Youngster. Now, they transformed. You know what? Now we're fucking skater guys, right? We wear fucking beanies. Lit, dude. Are you... You, are you kidding me? Lit. But the thing is, don't fucking lie to me and say you guys are all... Okay, you know one skateboarding trick. You know, that's one skateboarding trick I know. I mean, I don't know that you do. That's great. But let me tell you something that I do know. All right? That expensive-ass fucking... What is that? That expensive-ass fucking basketball hoop. All right? You're not fooling anybody, man. Okay, when I was a broke little bitch, you know what I did? I had to go to the park. I had to go to the park and play basketball. You know, you have that convenience. And look at that nice little brick house you got right back there, huh? There's a nice little fire pit. You got a great big driveway. Now listen, you're no fucking skateboarder. You're a fucking poser. And that's, all, that's just the truth. That's the goddamn truth, all right? You're fucking out here skating and shit. All right, you know who doesn't? You know, like you know, you know who who are, who are real skaters? You know who the real skaters are in this situation? The fucks that don't put these videos up on TikTok. That's who fucking skates. Okay. The thing is, I I don't mind kids skating. I I couldn't give a fuck. I I, I really couldn't give a fuck. But don't you know? Don't fake. Being a skater, kid. All right, you probably learned once uh, one trick. What was the other trick that he showed? To me, those tricks, I, I see. I can fucking see like, um, like five year olds do that shit on Instagram. Pop up some. It pops up on my Explore page. Okay, you got a bunch of little kids doing fucking skateboarding tricks, just like these 18, 17 year olds, and you're doing it in your driveway. In your driveway. It's all about coming up. I don't know, man. It's these kids. They get to me. They fucking get to me because they're posers, bro. All right. And we're moving on. And we're moving on. Now this next video, it's just it mind blows. It, 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 it's first off, what is going on in this video? What is happening? These people are making shit out of clay. I don't know, those people in the back, they are not albino like him. So I'm assuming he is probably in Pakistan or India because they're all wearing garments that they would in, in Pakistan or India. Maybe in the Middle East. But the thing is, I don't think anyone's albino. I don't think anyone's albino in the Middle East, in my opinion. I, 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 I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Oh, there's two. I forgot. I forgot there was two albino guys. So they probably... See, this is the thing. This is the power of the internet, okay? It doesn't matter if you live in fucking Bangladesh or fucking Dubai or goddamn Arkansas. It doesn't matter. As long as you got a fucking cell phone, you can get TikTok, all right? And look, I... The 
But think, this guy does this every single day, you know? He makes these fucking blocks out of clay all goddamn day. He's not even wearing shoes, all right? And this motherfucker looks happy. You have no excuse to be fucking sad living in your suburban house, drinking fucking Swiss tea, whatever, or whatever, Fresca. You got fucking White Claws in the fridge too, you goddamn fucking privileged pussy. And you got this guy. And you got this guy, fucking happy as fuck making blocks, square blocks out of, uh, just mud clay. Yeah. That, that, that's the world. Yeah, that's the world we live in, dude. Close and you know what? This next guy this is everyone's dad. I assume every fucking Southern American just looks like this, right? All right, just Daddy. super fucking creepy. Daddy's here now. Let your worries <sighs> go. Jesus. I'll take care of everything. Oh, my fucking God! It's so hard to watch these fucking videos sometimes. Oh, it's really fucking hard. It's really hard. You can see the fucking gray chest hair popping out of his goddamn shirt. All right? The mullet's still there. You, you can't let go of the fucking 80s, dude. It's still there. All right? Dukes of Hazard is his favorite. <laughs> Dukes of Hazard is his favorite TV show. Um... Oh, man, someone get their fucking father off this goddamn app. This is just crazy, right? And the smile just screams molestation. <laughs> the fuck, like, who the fuck smiles like that? Seriously. Like, I feel bad for anybody who, like, who has to live with this man. Anyways. God damn. All right, so this next video is probably just very good. I mean, it's my last one, all right? So we're, we're just going to let it roll, all right, ladies and gentlemen? This this brave girl, all right? You guys know... Okay. I'm a high school junior wearing size 13 Nikes. Men's size 13 Nikes. Eat that. I have cancer. Fair enough, you know? Fuck Netflix. And I feel bad for this, this gal, okay? She has cancer while Netflix is promoting... I'm fucking 6'5", and I have 13 so a size 13 shoes, and I'm a girl, and I'm fucking privileged as fuck, and I'm super healthy. What? Uh, beat that. And then this girl's just like, I have cancer. <laughs> I have cancer. Like, fucking... That's, that, that's, that's just, you know... I hope this girl lives, right? I hope this girl lives, because she's a fucking legend to all of us. Okay, Netflix, I don't know where Netflix has gone. They've gone so goddamn PC and fucking liberal shit. And liberal today isn't what liberal really is. Liberal now is just like this weird fucking super anti-joke uh, culture, you know, cancel culture, all that bullshit. And you know what? Fuck liberalism, all right? I, I like... I think I'm a true liberal, all right? Just an old-fashioned liberal where I believe in true freedom, that everyone gets equal rights, all right? Not fucking, like, I don't know. Listen, this girl is a hero. Okay, remember that face, all right? Because she shat so damn hard, okay? She sat, she shat so damn hard, okay? And first off, she's got size 13 shoes. Bitch, you got white Air Force Ones on. What the fuck are you complaining about, you privileged whore? What the fuck is that? And I've seen... I, listen. Oh, I know it's fucked up. You're calling her a whore. I don't give a fuck, Keisha. I don't give a fuck. She's like, beat that. Oh, man. Just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just fucking gold, man. Right? I don't know. You know, that's 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 the TikToks for today, guys. All right? I hope you guys like the whole steaming that we did today. I hope it was nice and, hum you know, nice and very uh, heartwarming. Okay? Because it was, for me, at least. It was, to me, the best time. So, I'm probably going to keep doing this.
This is just going to be a whole new series that I'm doing. And I hope you guys really appreciate this. And the thing is, if you have TikToks, send them to me. All right. Uh, my Instagram will be Edo underscore Dulos. All right. Just send them to me. DM me. If you follow me on there, just DM me a bunch of fucking TikToks that you find that you want me to steam up. All right. Otherwise, dude, I got to go wank and shower and wank again. And then when I get out of the shower, I got to wank again. And then I got to go to school and then I got to go wank. Either way, dude, stay gay as fuck. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.